Jamie's older sister, Miranda. I must say, it was not love at first sight uh, when my parents brought her home. Just for me though, everybody else loved her. Just imagine with me for a moment, blonde hair, big blue eyes, long dark eyelashes. I mean, she had everybody around her little finger. Oh, and she had the sweetest little demeanor too. Needless to say, I was very jealous of my little sister. So she continued to get more beautiful and more beautiful, but she was also very athletic, very smart. All the boys wanted to talk to her. I was on the opposite end. No boys wanted to talk to me. And I was very awkward. I did musicals. I played the saxophone and band, but I was also a cheerleader, which wasn't very cool at our school. <laughs> All that it takes I'll do. For those who don't know, I'm Colton Lee's older brother. Um, and I just want to thank them for having me as a part of this beautiful day. Um, everything was amazing. You got him to change his hairstyle finally. After about 22 years, he cuts it finally. Other than that, I just want to wish you guys all the best. Um, and if there's one piece of advice out of the million pieces of advice you guys are going to get, just always forgive and forget and just love. All righty, congrats. Later, I had asked Jamie to be my maid of honor for my wedding and it wasn't until then that I discovered that our differences were actually a really good thing and that God hadn't put her in my life to be a thorn in my side he had put her in my life to complete me in a way that I didn't know I needed um, and that is my hope for both of you, that you will see each other's weaknesses, but you will be the strength for each other. And today when you said I do up there, you put on the same team jersey and you are now on the same side of the field today. That means that any issues or problems that you have go on the opposite end. It's not who is right, it's what is right. All right, and if you would, everyone, please raise a glass. And let's congratulate Jamie and Colton. I love you. Marriage is waking up each morning desiring to put your relationship to the forefront of your mind. It will take both of you working towards mutual compromises. Sure, compromise is a lot of work, but at the end of the day, when you're married, you have someone waiting at home for you. You have someone that has promised to love you no matter how bad your mood is or no matter what the universe has decided to drop on your head this week. Jamie, you have someone that's always going to open the car door for you. And Colton, you have someone that's always going to remind you about your repetitive stories. 
We get married because it helps to have that special someone that loves you unconditionally walking side by side with you through your life. You'll need to depend on that foundation of trust, good humor and love that you've already developed. Work towards strengthening those bonds daily. You need to be more patient than you've ever been and you're going to experience higher highs than you ever have before. But now you'll be in it together for good. Colton, do you take Jamie to be your lawfully wedded wife and support her no matter her level of excitement over her ice cream? If so, answer I do. I do. Jamie, do you take Colton to be your lawfully wedded husband and to always remain open to Colton reminding you of your ears not working when your phone's in your hand? I do. If so, you did, <laughs> you got it. <laughs> I give you this ring as a symbol that I will love you, honor you, and cherish you. Well, I give you this ring as a symbol that I will love you, honor you, and cherish you. I will care for you. In sickness and in health. Until forever. Until forever. By the power vested in me, by the state of Ohio, I would now like to pronounce you husband and wife. Colton, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> Take a quick moment while well, we have all of our loved ones here to say thank you for coming and celebrating this evening with us. Uh, we hope you all have a great time and we look forward to celebrating with you. Thank you.
To a